So what I was thinking about doing is the time machine. I think the copper thing is going to work better on the time machine, but I'm not sure if it will actually fold space or not. Hey, today I am here with Charles Lionheart Ellis and Coy Baker. And my friend Charlie makes folders and chef's knives and Coy makes some really awesome Damascus. And we're gonna come inside and show you some of this cool stuff. And we're gonna work on something, um, maybe all three of us just individually working on something. I don't really know. This is a day in the life and let's go have some fun. Chef's knife out of this and then whenever we have left, let's make a different plan for that. Okay, make one. Cool with me. I don't think we can get two out of it. All right, let's make one. You ever make an integral before? All right, well, today you get to see. Me and Charlie will teach you how to make one, right? Yep. Right? Is that the idea? Sure. <laughs> this will probably be less like that, maybe more like this. This will come like this. Ooh, I want you to make me a little integral knife. If I give you the design, do you feel like challenge to do it? That's a pretty long blade there, Charlie. I like where you're going with this. I like this. Make it like two and a half inches. That way it's legal almost anywhere. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. I like it too. We can make two of those out of this hunk. I dare you. you dare me? I dare you. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take this down to a um, like one by one and then I'll pull the blade out of it. All right. I'm going to tune this thing up a little bit. All right. That's, I think that's all we need to make a pretty big one. Does that make sense to you? All right. All right, Charlie, you still need them squaring dies in there? Yeah, one more heat. All right, better hurry up. Hello, this is Jason. How can I help you? Right. We're gonna get it pointier as we work more towards the profile. So just make us a point, and that's all we need. Point. All right. When I'm working into that area, the integral area, I'm gonna push it in. I'll show you with the clay, and that way it'll make sense. See, I'm gonna hit this one spot. It doesn't matter which way I work it, but where's the mass of the material at now? The top. Yeah, so I can work it back towards me or away from me. If you work back and forth, your point will get longer and skinnier. If you work from one direction, you can establish the point and then decide where you want that material to move. So if I'm moving into this, you know, nine and a half, 10 inch blade that I want to be about three inches wide, I have to make sure I'm going to push it all back towards the heel because I know I'll have enough to make the point. I already know that. That's easy. Now, I'm going to work on that profile again. I like that you're doing them on the bias. That's kind of cool. Now, I'm going to push that down. Keep working the profile. Making sense yet? Oh, it makes sense. Lily hammer. I like this side the best. I like it. You happy with it? 
What you gonna do next, Charlie? Let's find the point. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it all this way. Now I'm gonna start pulling it out. Can you see this knife? This is the shape that we're gonna do like this. What do you think about this shape? This is a good shape, I think. Okay, good. I need those tongs again. Those are the ones I'm looking for. How you doing, Charlie? Now we just do a little more refining because we got our thickness and our edge. Now we can kind of take it, take it a little finer. I mean, I cook, but I'm not any kind of a chef, okay? But I know if I hold a knife like this, it'll twist. If I hold it like this, it'll twist. If I hold it like this, it can't do anything except for exactly what I want. I can make nice square, you know, 90 degree cuts on stuff. I can totally control the knife all together whatever I want to do. So that's why I like to use that grip. Check our pattern. You're gonna stretch it out and pull that edge down and then it'll be kind of done. I'm gonna tune this area up here real quick. Still, we're pretty thick. Our, our heel is right here where I want it. It's coming down below. Uh, I think I'm gonna push it back a little bit. I'm gonna do a thing here. Oh, that's hot. Kinda like that. Come back here, you. Thank you. Maybe this would be smarter over here. Oh, pretty close. I'm liking that. Pretty classic. Uh, I think I want to curve that up a little bit though. Yeah, let's do that. A little curviness to it. All right, I'm liking that. A little tune up and then we'll be done with that part. It's pretty centered. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it off right there. like the way it is looking. That's a nice piece of steel you made there, man. Uh 
Except for the blade. Now I gotta get the blade straight. Alright, we'll take about the foot press up on edge and tap, tap, try to get it. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, I feel the same way, but you know, it may work. Cut. It's not what I wanted, but you made me do it. I'm just helping you from this way, and we're working in it like that. We're gonna start here. Ready? How's it looking? Better than it was. Really not that deep. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It is looking like it's going away now. <laughs> Just work on getting it straight, and I think it'll be good. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Do okay. it by hand, clean it up by hand hammer, though. Yep, yep. Clean it up by hand hammer. Just trying to get the edge centered. That's looking good. I'd give it a little arc on the edge is what I do. Okay, last time you made more complicated steel than me, and this time you made a bigger knife than me. It's with a crack in it. <laughs> it's not a crack. <laughs> Charlie, I wouldn't call that a crack, would you? What? See, Charlie agrees. Yeah, just get it straight. Just, um, I usually squeeze it in that vise over there to get straight. I'll go run the vise for you. Okay. Got it. Okay. Now let's go edge, more in, go back in, all the way, all the way, keep going. And bring it down just a little, uh, back to, yeah, there we go, right there. Go all the way in. Right. Oh, okay, cool. All right, let's we'll chop it off, and we'll pull that tang out. And you can stretch all that piece out. And the thing is, if you don't have enough, we can always Weld extra tang. There's nothing wrong with having mild steel on half the tank. Right. What we got was the steel that me and Coy made, how many months ago was that? Two months ago. And we have one knife that we've got forged. He's got another one that he's forging. We think we've got the little seam in it pretty much is disappearing, so that's cool. Um, Charlie 
has got two little integrals, which are going to be really cool. And this is a day in the life. So we may or may not finish these. I don't know. Uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, Corey Baker, Charles Lionheart Ellis, and myself, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I hope your day is great. Be a maker. Make a difference.